Good morning, everyone. I'm Marie from Southern Country Living, and today I'm making a beef stew. And uh, these are my ingredients uh, celery, carrots, beef stew mix, meat, potatoes, and onion, beef broth, and a uh, seasoning packet. And so, um, me and Kevin's got a lot to do today, so this will be a really good recipe at the end of the day. And so let me get started on my prep work. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some black pepper and salt in my all-purpose flour. beef in here. The recipe calls for uh, two pounds, but I don't quite have that much. I have about a pound and a half. You can also do the same thing if you have a freezer bag. If you coat your um, beef this way in a bow or something, make sure that you hold on to the lid. <laughs> okay, all right. I think that did the trick. Let's see? Okay, so now I'm going to um, brown it. Over here in my skillet, I have two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, I have my beef in my pan now, and so I'm going to brown it on medium heat. Okay, you don't want to uh, overcook the beef, you just want to get it a little bit brown. And uh, this flour on this beef, when you put it in your um, pot pot, it makes your beef stew have a good thick gravy. Okay, I have my um, meat browns now, so I'm going to put it in my crock pot. start preparing my uh, vegetables and the recipe you can put as many potatoes uh, or vegetables as you want Alright, 
I think this is about all I'm going to add in my uh, boosting, but I'm going to give them one more final rinse. Okay, so now I'm going to prep my carrots. I'm going to put in my uh, beef stew seasoning. Right now, I'm going to sprinkle it over my beef. Okay. Mm, seasoning smells good. Okay. Now, then, I'm going to put in my potatoes. Put about three stalks of celery in. I'm just going to cut them with these scissors. in the pot the celery goes <laughs> all right now i'm going to cut out my onion Get this thing my husband used to work in the produce department and he peeled a many of these things <laughs> when he was young i'd go to see him at the grocery store and he'd be sitting there getting the skins off the onion. <laughs> I thought that was an easy job because that's all I've ever seen him do <laughs> when I'd go there. <laughs> Young ones. <laughs> So lose some and put them in here. Okay, the next step that I'm going to do is get these onions out of my face <laughs> and then I'm going to uh, put my beef broth in and my water. It calls for three cups of water, but I'm going to add one can of beef broth and two cups of water. I'm 
going to cook this on low uh, seven to eight hours or you can also cook it on high for five hours and when this gets done it's going to be delicious <laughs> and uh, I can't wait <laughs> so see you in a little while all right I'm back and my beef stew has been cooking seven hours and it was cooking two hours on high so fixing to do the taste test Amazingly good. <laughs> oh, that's good. Potatoes and beef and carrots and onions. Okay. So now for the taste test. This is going to be really hot. <laughs> okay, I already uh, dipped cabin above. So here goes for the taste test. Mm. That is really delicious. I wouldn't change a thing on this recipe. Mm. It is really good. I can taste uh, the season packet in it. It has a lot of good flavors to it. And the vegetables are cooked good and tender. And the meat is tender. So this recipe is a winner for me. <laughs> so I hope you all try it. And if you do, I hope that you enjoyed it as much as that bite that I just cook was. Mm. We're also having a uh, cornbread uh, muffin, Mexican muffin, and I'm also um, having a dessert. It's a uh, white chocolate dessert and it's a sugar-free dessert, sugar-free pudding, and so it's low calorie. <laughs> so um, that'll be really good too today, <laughs> especially after eating this hearty soup. <laughs> So, y'all do what you love and love what you do, and y'all have a great evening. Bye. We're having Mexican cornbread muffin. We're having a beef stew that has a seasoned packet in it, and it also has carrots and potatoes, onion and celery. And we're having a low calorie dessert. It's white chocolate pudding. We put some whipped cream on it and um, cherry on top. I think this is going to be delicious. And sweet tea. And I can't wait to dig into this good meal. Blah.